two billion people across the world consume liquor. A small percentage of those fall into the category of excess. But whether you drink a little or you drink a lot, every drop of liquor tells a different story. This fucking shit is easy as shit. Look at this. Hey, how you doing, everybody? This is Jim Roy here, and presenting you another... Oh, wait a sec. Just wait a sec. Are you rolling? Yeah, I'm rolling. Act one. No, take one. Scene two. Camera rolling. Action. Can uh, sound two. Everything's fucking coming up roses because Jim Leahy is operating all by himself today for the most incredible liquor story there ever was. And do you know why? Because it's dealing with the purest of all the beverages. And that's vodka. In Russia, they say vodka. In Poland, they say vodka. But they argued 500 years ago, who's the person who started the vodka off by throwing in the fucking old potatoes and the boots and the rhubarb and the rubbish? Who started the vodka? Hey, who started hockey? Who gives a fuck? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, when you drink vodka, the thing is, is that you have to take a little sippy poos. Just little wee sippy poos. You have to drink with the grain of the liquor. And then after a while, you can take bigger drinks. And then after a while after that, you can take big, 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 big drinks. I think I'll do a wrap around. Wrap around, wrap around. Want to see Jim Lady Jim Lady show? You know, that's the thing about big vodka. Once you drink vodka, it gives you a kind of spirit of, of any, you can do anything, accomplish anything. First time I ever got drunk in vodka, I was about like a 12 or 11 or something like that. I forget what it was, but I was, I still had a little hearty on it. But anyway, I, you know, I was walking on a fence. The fence was that fucking thick. And I was walking along the top of the fence, never fell off. I discovered that you can do just about anything when you're drinking vodka. It's the most incredible. Look, I discovered that I can stand on my head. Look at this. Look at this. Ta-da! For fuck's sakes. Collateral damage. It's okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you drink vodka, you, you are at the apex me of your abilities, sexually, spiritually, emotionally. Did I tell you that vodka, you can use that to antiseptize your wounds and your cuts and stuff? You know that during the Three Mile Island, you know, Chernobyl thing, they used vodka to clean off the the radioactive nucleides from poor cocksuckers are sending the stars up the business ass. But I tell you, without a doubt, <sighs> what was I saying? Oh, yes. Cheers. For your old gold chill, that was for your old gold chill. For your old gold chill, oh, nobody can deny. This afternoon, guess what I'm doing? After I have a couple more little drinky poos, just for courage, I'm going to try a brand new sport. Yours truly, Jim Lee, 69. Still get it up, get it in, get it off, and get it out in under one minute. Ta-da! Do you know what I'm doing this afternoon? I am going to take up skateboarding. It looks like a lot of fun. I can do skateboarding, just like those other little fuckers. You can, oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, never mind. I'll get her down. It'll be okay. Tune in tomorrow. Tune in next week to see Jim Lee and another liquor story. Don't worry. 
Everything is gonna be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And cut. Say, this wasn't fucking bad at all.